I have a new special uh, dessert today. It's called a cassava leche flan pudding. It's a combination of cassava cake, leche flan, and a bread pudding. Let's get started. You need one kilo of grated cassava. This is already cleaned weight. Four eggs, one can condensed milk, two cups evaporated milk, two cups coconut milk, one teaspoon vanilla, one cup sugar, you can add more if you want it sweeter, one fourth cup of melted butter or margarine, 200 grams of bread, you cut into small cubes, and one cup of buko strings. For the caramel sauce, you need one and a half cups of sugar, three fourths cup of hot water, two tablespoons cornstarch dispersed in one cup water. First thing we need to do is we need to soak the bread in evaporated milk or coconut milk. This is your old bread, but it's still, it's, it is not moldy, just old bread. If you have old bread, uh, leftover bread, you put it in the freezer, and then you can make, use it to make pudding, okay? So this is what I'm trying to make today. If you don't have a blender, you soak this for an hour and then just mash this with your hands, okay? But the blender will do a better job, okay? Okay, to this, this is the bread which we soak for about 15 minutes. And then I'm going to add in the sugar here. You may not add the sugar when you blend, but you know, for me, uh, it dissolves faster than vanilla. My butter is not melted, but it's soft, so I just put this here too. Then you have condensed milk. This recipe is like a cassava cake, a bread pudding, and a leche flan all in one. Coconut milk. Then we have the grated cassava. Don't uh, squeeze the cassava, okay? I'm trying to break up the cassava. By the way, you grate the cassava with a very fine cheese grater. You can bake this, but today I've decided to steam this, but you can bake this, okay? Make sure the mixture is smooth before you add in the buko. Okay, I have here the buko meat. Or you can use makapuno. But if you use makapuno, just remember, uh, it might be a little bit sweeter because the makapuno that we have is already preserved or it has... Uh, it has sugar already. It's cooking sugar. It has a syrup. I don't have banana leaves today. So what I'm going to do is I have aluminum foil here. And then I'm going to wipe this with a little oil. To make sure it does not stick. But if you use banana leaves, it will not stick. It's like carrot it will not stick. Okay. So you have a choice. You can bake, you can steam. Okay. And then, once this is cooked, we will make our caramel sauce. Okay, so let's steam this. You put a cloth on top of the steamer cover so it won't drip on the cake. By the way, make sure that your aluminum foil has no hole so that the mixture will not go under the baking pan. Because then it will be difficult to remove. If you don't have a big steamer, make half recipe, huh? So you can cook several layers. Cover the top with uh, a towel so that the uh, water or steam will not drip on the cake. Okay? Uh, 45. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe 
and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. This is after 40 minutes. I will just use the cake tester test. See? Comes out clean. So it's cooked. Okay? We will cool this down before we put the caramel. All right, here. I am caramelizing sugar. This is just sugar. This is for the caramel topping. When you caramelize sugar, you try your best not to stir the sugar until it's 80 or 90% melted so that it will not crystallize. Otherwise, it will go back to uh, sugar granules. I'm just moving the sugar around so that it will not burn and so that there's even heating also. I'm only using medium heat. I'm not stirring, I'm just trying to distribute the sugar. See, it's completely melted now. And then I'm going to pour in 3 fourths cup of hot water. So this is what happens. We're going to boil again until this one is completely melted. But this one is now uh, what you call is easier to dissolve and then here you prepare I have cornstarch and water we will use that to thicken the caramel if you want a thicker uh, cake or uh, if you want a thicker pudding just use two baking pans okay but it, it will take about 10 minutes longer to cook or to steam Okay, so I'm just waiting for this to melt completely and then I'm going to add in the cornstarch and the water or what we call a slurry. We will add a slurry. Once you add the cornstarch, you have to stir continuously because you don't want the uh, cornstarch to burn or uh, uh, you want the mixture to stay smooth and you don't want the uh, starch to burn so okay this is good All right see okay so it's just like this you can let it drip down the sides a little bit but here is the one in the baking pan which I haven't taken out yet. 